welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today we have a very special collab with some of my favorite other WW YouTube channels. We are going to be sharing with you five tips on how to stay on track during this crazy time in our nation, this quarantine, the virus, all the things. We're gonna share with you five tips from our own perspective and things that we're doing to help us stay on track during this trying time. I wanna thank Active Rachel Ann for hosting this collab. Her and I kind of partnered on this together. So her link as well as all of the other channels participating will be down in my description box. So make sure you head on over and check those out. Again, these are some of my favorite WW channels. There's some new ones as well. So some new inspiration for you. So definitely check those out below. So with no further ado, let's get into my top five tips on how to stay on track during this quarantine. From my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind So tip number one is don't bring trigger foods into your house and with that, make sure that you have healthy foods on hand. I know for me that if I bring foods I love, and we all know I love sweets, into my house, when I'm hungry, or AKA not hungry, that is what I'm going to reach for first. If I have candy, chocolate, cake, cookies, puddings, all the sweet things, that's what I'm going to reach for, whether I'm truly hungry or not. So when I'm stuck at home 24 hours a day, I told myself no trigger foods in the house. That way I'm not tempted to eat things that are really high in smart points or even outside of the amount of smart points that I'm allowed per day. So I just don't bring those into my house. Now one day a week I do treat myself. My husband and I generally go out to breakfast, lunch, or dinner and I'll have some sort of a sweet treat, maybe a cookie from my local bakery, maybe we'll go out for frozen yogurt. But I know that I can look forward to that and I just don't bring those things into my house. And with that, I make sure that I have healthy options on hand. I have sweet treats that I can eat, like Smart Sweets or Built Bars or my little paleo brownie thins. I'll put a picture here for you that I'm obsessed with off of the Thrive Market. I also make sure that I have crackers and chips and other things on hand that work within my clean approach to WW. That way, again, I'm not bringing in those unhealthy foods and I'm making sure that I have healthy foods on hand. And that is one tip that has really helped me through this time. Number two is cook at home more. What better time than right now to skip fast food, skip going out to eat. We can't go sit down at a restaurant anyways. We have to actually pick it up and bring it home. So why not take advantage of this time at home and cook more? We can control the ingredients that are going in our food. Therefore, we can control the smart points of our foods. So what better time than now to really take advantage of maybe learning some new recipes, finding some recipe inspiration here on YouTube, Pinterest, wherever you go to find your recipes, make sure you're checking out my website. I'll put that here on the screen for you guys. And the link is down in the description box. I have tons of recipes on there. Find new recipes, try them out. Maybe you'll find a new favorite or maybe you'll try an ingredient you didn't think that you liked or maybe you didn't think was WW friendly that you were able to incorporate into a delicious recipe. So take advantage of this time, cook from home, control your ingredients and control your smart points. Number three, keep busy. This is huge for me. I am very much a bored snacker. I always think I'm hungry when I'm bored. So I've been trying to keep myself busy so that my mind is off of food. So I have been putting out more YouTube videos. I've been catching up on some of my favorite shows that I just don't have time normally to watch. I've been online on Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, more often with friends and family. I'm spending time at home cleaning, spring cleaning my house, working out in my yard. Even sometimes I'm just cuddling Diesel and Lola, my dogs on the couch, and really keeping myself busy so that my mind is off of food and the time goes a lot faster. When we're stuck at home and we're not used to being stuck at home, time can just drag on. And when I'm bored, I wanna eat. So if I find, if I keep myself busy, then it keeps my mind off of food. And number four, kind of going hand in hand with keeping busy is activity. You guys know, if you follow my channel, I'm a Jazzercise enthusiast. I love my Jazzercise classes, but obviously with gyms being closed, I'm unable to attend Jazzercise. <sighs> I miss it. But we do have the option to do Jazzercise on demand, so I've been taking advantage of that. 
I've also been enjoying the weather that's finally getting nice in my area by going on walks and just enjoying nature. Not only is it a great way to keep busy, but it's a great way to get activity in. You, there's also lots of workout videos free on YouTube. There are several gyms, I believe Planet Fitness is offering free online classes, online Zumba workouts and strength workouts. So do some research and find some free online classes or get outside and enjoy nature. So this actually kind of goes hand in hand with keeping busy is it's a great way to keep busy is getting in some activity. And I know for me, I don't want to lose the strength and endurance that I've built up by going to Jazzercise over the last few months. So I'm making sure that I'm continuing to do that activity to keep my endurance and my strength up, but also to kind of help keep me busy, keep my mind clear, my endorphins flowing. And of course, it really helps to see that on the scale. I noticed that my weight loss is substantially more when I'm adding in some activity, even if it's a simple walk. And let me tell you, we have all the time in the world to add an activity. So take advantage of that. And number five is probably one of the most important and that is give yourself grace. This is a very trying time for all of us, whether you're impacted directly or not. The world is in an upheaval. Families are in upheavals. Kids are out of school. People are out of jobs. There's financial issues, grocery issues, toilet paper issues, all these things that we've never experienced in most of our entire lives. So take advantage of the time to really offer yourself a little bit of grace, some compassion, a little bit of leeway. Now, I know some of you have chosen to either maintain your weight during this time or to just give up your weight loss or your WW program in general. And that is completely okay if that's what you need to do to make it through. But myself, this is kind of the one thing I can control. And that is my weight loss program, the food that I'm eating, losing weight, having activity. So I'm kind of taking advantage of this time to really like pump up my WW program. But I'm also giving myself grace for times that maybe I just am having a rough day and I just overeat or I eat foods that I normally wouldn't eat or more food than I normally would eat. But I think with everything going on and I, it impacts every single one of us in one way or another, whether it's directly or indirectly, give yourself grace, give yourself some leeway, some compassion, and just do the best that you can to make it through. This too shall pass and eventually things will be back to normal and we can get right back on track at that time. But just give yourself a little bit of grace. So those are my five tips on how to stay on track during this trying time during this quarantine and again if you've chosen to put your weight loss program on the back burner or just focus on maintaining your weight i'm so proud of you for making that decision if that is absolutely what is best for you and for those of us that are continuing on on our weight loss journey hopefully this collab really helps give you lots of tips and tricks on how to stay on track so make sure you check out all of the channels down below you're going to walk away with a ton of tips and tricks on how to stay on track also, thank you, Rachel, for co-hosting this collab with me. And really, she did most of the work. So thank you, Rachel, for doing the work and hosting this collab. And if you're new to my channel and you've come over from one of the other channels, welcome. I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe. I do upload videos pretty much daily. We do all things WW on this channel, grocery hauls, meal preps, tons of recipes, lots of clean eating tips and tricks, sit down chats you name it, it happens. So hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. If you're heading over to check out one of the other channels, let them know that I sent you and make sure you subscribe to their channel as well. Give this video a big thumbs up if these tips are gonna help you through this quarantine. And of course, leave your comments down below. I wanna know whose channel you came over from if you came over from another channel. And also, if you have any other tips that you wanna share, leave those down in the comments. That way we can all benefit from your tips and tricks to get through the quarantine. Thank you so much for coming along with me today and checking out my video and I'll see you guys all in the next one.